Hey there, we're finally back with another weekly update. It's been a few weeks. I was on vacation for a week, and then since then, I've taken a few weeks off. But uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. So getting close to finishing the React tutorial series, and the last couple videos have been super long, and I thank anybody who's taken the time to actually walk through those. There's a lot more to talk about with routing and the security of authentication than I kind of thought there would be. And it took me quite a lot of time in recording to actually get that out the door. With that said, we're pretty close to the end of that series, so we're looking forward towards the next series, which I'm thinking is going to be about AWS Lambda and serverless architecture, but I want to actually do some research to see what is um, what is sort of being searched for right now. What are the things that people are looking to learn? And if I pick something that nobody really wants to learn, then it kind of, it's discouraging for me because then nobody watches the videos. And then it's also, you know, I don't feel like I'm really contributing as much to the world as I could be if I were teaching something that somebody actually wanted to know. So probably going to kick that off um, after doing some research. But then I'm also going to maybe take a few weeks in between series to work on a few Docker videos to update on things that have come out in Docker, changes to Docker compose and maybe we'll look forward to a little bit of docker swarm stuff potentially but we're probably going to do a full-blown series on docker swarm eventually so maybe not digging too much into that in terms of the things that i'm working on i'm still working on my course platform lectern and it's coming along pretty nicely but uh, i don't know if i ever put an update on this or if i just talked about it in my podcast the stand-up but I switched away from using Firebase because I wanted a more uh, full-featured backend, and I kind of just think in relational terms, so it made more sense for me to switch to something that was using a relational database, Postgres in this case, and I ended up writing a backend in Elixir, so still working on that, and it's still quite a bit of challenge, but it's really, really fun and exciting to know that what I'm building right now is going to be my MVP eventually, so I'll be able to release this and then try to onboard people into making their own courses and using the service. So that'll be really cool. If you were aware, I was streaming on Twitch a little bit. I'm switching that to YouTube because I already have an audience of people who uh, would receive updates to know that I'm going to be live streaming. So I'm just going to switch over on that instead of trying to kind of shout in the abyss that is Twitch for creative people. And then the last thing is I'm planning on starting another podcast. The Stand Up, as you might know, is a podcast between me and the creator of Tatsu, uh, a friend of mine, Jamie Wright. But I want to start another podcast where each week I, or not necessarily week, but each episode I interview another developer and kind of get their story and the things that they went through on their journey as they got became better as a developer grew into, you know, maybe a development manager or something like that, or people who work in open source and just kind of see what their experience is like, because the code is one thing, but the actual like people part of things is really important too. So that is what I've been up to. And um, if you have any feedback on this or suggestions for podcast guests or ideas of things that I could talk about um, for the new tutorial series, then please let me know.